is there ever a time or has this ever been studied? Can there be too much empathy? People can definitely feel like they're experiencing too much empathy. And, and a lot of people do. You know, when I post on social media about empathy, I've a lot of people comment and they're like, can I reduce my empathy? Like, how do I make this stop? Because I'm always feeling so bad for people. It's not like a recognized, you know, DSM-5 condition, right? But, I, you know, I, I think empathy is a strength. I, I like to debunk this notion. You're right. But in for humanity as a whole, right? Because without empathy. So again, think about the stepping on the thorn example. If you felt nothing in response to watching your friend step on a thorn, you would be you would have no personal stake, no personal motivation to step in and help them. Right. Feeling bad makes you say, oh, gosh, this person needs help. And and if frankly, if I help them, it will alleviate this uncomfortable feeling I'm experiencing. Right. Mm -hmm. That's sort of the evolutionary purpose of empathy is to motivate us to help others by giving us a personal stake. But on the other hand, if we had too much empathy, like you're asking about, and like imagine your friend steps on the thorn and you feel the sensation of the thorn piercing through your foot. Way too much empathy. Now you're going to go the opposite way. Instead of helping that person, you're going to run away. You're going to be like, I'm not going anywhere near that. That felt horrible. I don't want to ex expose myself to it. We would have no doctors. You know, nobody would watch UFC or MMA matches, right? It would, our entire society would be different. So I think we're in the Goldilocks zone, you know, it's like it's not too hot, it's not too cold. We have the perfect amount of empathy. But of course, we exist in a, in a range. There's a spectrum uh, like any biological trait.